How are you feeling after such another, well, another great win against a, another promotion rival really today? A really important win, but we let two goals in. Um, a little bit too much self-satisfaction around the place. Um, well done everyone, well worked, great atmosphere. Big effort, but two goals in the back of our net. Not good enough. On to the next. First two goals of, of 2017 as well, I suppose, but four at the other end and four well taken goals as well. Four good goals. We, you know, we've got a threat about us. Um, not to score the goals the way we did. Um, hard to forget the two goals we conceded. We've got to be better than that. And if we really believe we're looking upwards, we have to be better than that. And it was, that game could have been out of sight. The, um, the win was everything, but we need a little bit of a rethink about the two goals. That's been the bedrock of our, of our last two or three months, so let's not lose sight of that. I mean, the fact that if we we'll talk about the goals, the first one was from a set piece, so obviously you can, you can kind of see where you can, you can defend that one. The second one was quite well taken by the, the guy who was on the stage. It was a lovely finish, but it should never have got to that point. We lost our back line, and the boys got better for that. And I would say at one or Christy Pym made an absolutely brilliant save. Um, he's not had too much to do um, of the last month or two. Whatever he's done, he's done it impeccably well. That was a fantastic save, and that was a one all. So well done, Christy, for that. You did your bit today when you were needed. But you know the the substitutes came on and made a difference. The supporters got behind the players. I, I would say, I mean, I have to say, I, I admire what the opposition did. They made all those changes after their exploits on Saturday, and they did not give us a, a game. I mean, you have to admire them, and they are a real challenger for us. A real challenger for us to you know to to put us under that much pressure and score two goals and making those changes and being behind, you know, away from home against us in the former in. That that shows me they are a real challenger for this. This, this promotion push, so um, I'm delighted to have got the three points against them and we look forward now to the next few. I was going to ask you about the changes, did it throw you at all in terms of match prep when you saw seven changes on the team sheet? Of course, I mean we were thinking would there be a change or two, but clearly it, it, it's, it's the sort of thing managers do in these circumstances, so we weren't surprised by that. But one thing I'm not surprised about is they always raise their game for the manager. You know, no matter how, no matter how they um, they set up, I've never known a Wickham side not play with intensity and, and, and a threat. And they did that again tonight. I mean, it's you know, to their credit. But that just shows what an important win today was for us again. Because I cannot see them letting up for the rest of the season. It's the first time they've lost a game in a long time. We don't want to lose a game. I can't see them losing too many, so it was a big, game, big win for us. And from your point of view, um, it continues this unbeaten record, and you're up to fourth in the table today. So eyes well and truly on automatic promotion, if not, we'll, not players. Well, we're looking up. We have to. That's the challenge now. Um, we have got 18 games to go, and I've, I think one of the first words I use is a little too much self-satisfaction around the place. It doesn't pay to be smug with 18 games to go. Fourth's great from where we were, but it's not where we want to finish. We want to be above that. We've got to keep going forward. So um, let's keep our eyes on the road ahead, please. There's been a lot of attention on Ollie Watkins this month. Obviously, you've got through the month without um, him leaving the club, and you were able to rest him, and he still came on and got a goal today as well. Well, every week I'm I'm impressed more. It just shows you what a talent he is, and it's you know to be a, a top player, you have to have football ability. You have to have a physical capacity. But you also have the have to have the mentality to deal with the ups and downs of professional football and he's had some some ups and downs. crikey this week he's been he's been you know waiting and, and, and the club have received offers and we're saying no it's not enough this we want him with us the board has 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 backed my request that we keep this team together so well done them it's not that's that shows some real intent and real bravery when there are clubs offering good money, really good money. And he must stay with us. We, we've got a real challenge over the next three months and you know we need him and, and others on the pitch and what a difference he made when he came on. So Ollie Watkins, well done. You are going to go a long way, but at the moment you're an extra player and help us get where we want to get. And I'm very proud of you for what you've, what you've done again today. I just find I don't want to big up your players too much because you, you know them as well as, as anyone, but is there any stopping David Wheeler scoring at the moment? No, he's part of the he's part of the 
the, the forward momentum we have, he's doing his part in all aspects of the game. And also, I don't care who scores, four goals, that's enough for me. Um, let's, not, let's not let two in the other end, please. And, and crew coming up on Saturday before the, the derby, of course, so, uh, you know, you want to continue this run going? Obviously. One game at a time, one game at a time. And got to keep that, that defence cleaner than it was today.